It has happened, boys and girls. That's right, Geek Vape. They've entered the sub ohm tank game. They got their own sub ohm tank, and it's called the Illusion Mini. It's a 25 millimeter tank, holds three mils of juice, got easy top fill, dual bottom adjustable airflow, comes with two coil heads, a 0.15 and a 0.5. Loving the 0.15 ohm coil head money, honey. It's treating me right. Caught through two 0.15 ohm coil heads in the last six days. Each one of them's lasted me three days, and on the third day, it was still going strong. Both of them. Now, as far as the 0.5 ohm coil head, I don't like it. It's just my opinion. All this is going to be subjective, but I don't like the adapter. It kills the airflow. Geek Vape, if you're watching, kill that 0.5. Include 2.15 and you'll be rocking. Back to the dual bottom adjustable airflow, man. Smooth, smooth, smooth. It's a nice restrictive lung hit. If you're the type of vapor you like restrictive lung hits that are smooth, you're going to love this tank. If you're the type of vapor you like, you're an airflow hog is basically what you are. You love a lot of airflow. You're not going to like this tank. If you're the type of vapor you want a tank with a lot of juice, juice capacity, no, not this tank. This tank's not for you because this only holds three mils, like I mentioned. And it will guzzle. It'll guzzle a little bit with the 0.15 on coil head. But it's not bad and it's easy to fill up. All in all, I think this tank's a winner, especially for Geek Vape's first sub ohm tank. Oh yeah, and the machine quality for this? Exceptional. You can't expect anything less from Geek Vape when it comes to machine quality though. So I got her sitting on this AL85 by Smock, vaping her at 50 watts. She's reading 0.15 ohms because it's the 0.15 ohm coil head, okay? Yeah, so 50 watts, 50 to 60 watts with this 0.15 ohm coil head is my sweet spot, but I got the airflow wide open. Here we go. If I had to compare flavors as far as sub ohm tanks with other sub ohm tank coil heads, I would say it's probably comparable to the Smock coil heads. The Smock coil heads that are in the Baby Beast and the Big Baby Beast. And you get a nice dense cloud. It's not a huge cloud. I mean, with the airflow on this, like I said, it's a restrictive lung hit. You're not going to get, you know, massive, massive clouds like the Cloud Beast or like the TFV12. It just is what it is. But this is a flavor chucking sub ohm tank. Here is the packaging my Illusion Mini came in. And inside that packaging, you're going to receive your Illusion Mini sub ohm tank with a pre installed 0.15 ohm coil head. Also included is a 0.5 ohm coil head with an extra adapter. You receive an extra glass tube. And last but not least, a buku of O rings, some extra screws, and a tri tool. Now, on to the Illusion Mini sub ohm tank. Few specs for you. She's primarily made of stainless steel. From this section right here, the adjustable airflow ring, she's 25 millimeter. And then from here up, she's 24 millimeter. Actually, below that, she's 24 millimeter. So 24 and 25 millimeter. Let's just average it out to 20. 24.5 millimeter. How about that? So yeah, she's about 24.5 millimeter in width and she's 49 millimeter in length. At the base, she's got a non-adjustable protruding gold plated 510 pin. Threads are nice and smooth. Also down at the base, she says Illusion Mini designed by Geek Vape. She's got dual bottom adjustable airflow. You grab a hold of this ring right here, which is 25 millimeter in width and you adjust it. Whatever you adjust on this side is going to be the exact same as on this side. She does stop in this direction and she stops in the other direction. And she still happens to be the perfect amount of restrictiveness. Up top, she's got a standard Delrin 510 drip tip. Another pro I didn't mention FaceTime is you can use your preferred standard 510 drip tips, but there's the catch cup. Nice snuggy duggy fit. She's got easy top fill. You just unscrew the top cap. Nice smooth threads, especially for the price point, and you just fill her up. Holds three mils of juice like I mentioned in FaceTime. You got one slot over here, one slot over here, and I gotta go back to the threads. Look at those threads, man. I mean, Geek Vape, they produce high quality product for a good price, but you got your gasket right there to seal everything in. Like I said, easy peasy. What a sleazy. Another pro I didn't mention to FaceTime, I like how this sticks out up top and how grippy it is. It's easy to use, easy to unscrew. When you unscrew it, it doesn't unscrew the rest of this device. And the same for down here, this adjustable airflow ring. It sticks out, it's nice and grippy. It's just easy to use. Let's go ahead and get the tank and the shaft section off. You just grab a hold of the base, unscrews like so, and there she is, the tank and the shaft section. And the tank slides off the shaft section like so. There's your O-ring down below to keep everything sealed in. Feed slots. Again, this just slides right over. And here's the 0.15 ohm coil head, which is screwed into the base. Feed slots, organic cotton. It says 0.15, recommended vape, 50 to 120 watts. They say vapes as best between 60 and 80 watts. And of course, here is the base section. Now here's the extra coil that comes with this, the 0.5, and it doesn't give you a recommended vape, but it's got this little adapter. You unscrew this. Okay, there she is. Uses organic cotton. Here's the adapter. So the adapter and the coil screw into the base. I just want you to hear the airflow. I'm going to go wide open. 
you probably can't hear it, but for me, I it's just maybe it's just preferred. Maybe it's subjective. It just feels really turbulent and turbulent, not in a good way. It's a good coil head. I just don't like the airflow. So that right there, boys and girls, is my quick view of this Illusion Mini by Geek Vape. Let's go ahead and take her back to FaceTime. Price point, price point, price point. I'm here through the grapevine. This thing's gonna sell online anywhere between 25 and 40 bucks. Now on to the big question, the big answer of the day. Hey Rip, you lost this sucker today. Would you go out tomorrow and buy one? And the answer is I've been enjoying it so much, I probably would, but I want to state this. Get rid of the 0.5 of them, go ahead. I don't like that adapter. I don't like the airflow. The flavor's good, but the airflow kills it. The 0.15 ohm include two of those suckers. You do that, man, it's going to be, it's going to make it rock star status. But again, I do want to mention this to all my fans, all my fans and followers. I've only tried two of these coil heads, okay? And the two that I've tried have been on point. So if they're all like this, <laughs> it's going to be good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, if you found it entertaining, helpful, well then like it down below. And if you want to see more of me, well then subscribe for more. This is Rip Trippers. And remember, smoking is dead. Vaping is the future, and the future is now.